Thank you, President. And thank you, Special Envoy Grimberg and Director Wasornu, for your briefing. We are grateful for all the work you and your teams are doing to bring sustainable peace and humanitarian relief to the Yemeni people. President, since we last met to discuss Yemen, the Houthis have continued their reckless attacks on shipping in the Red Sea. The UK offers our condolences to the families of the innocent crew killed and injured during their recent attack on the MV True Confidence, targeted while en route from China to Saudi Arabia. In recent days, similar actions have resulted in the sinking of the fertilizer-laden MV Rubmia and continue to risk exacerbating the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. These attacks are impacting all of us. Ships from around the world are being targeted. It has also been more than 100 days since the seizure of MV Galaxy Leader and its crew who continue to be unlawfully detained. We call for the immediate release of the vessel and her crew. The Houthis alone are risking further escalation. The United Kingdom condemns these abhorrent attacks and we call on the Houthis to stop the attacks, to respect the freedom of navigation of all vessels and to de-escalate tensions in the Red Sea. President, today the Council will hear an update from the UN Verification and Inspection Mechanism, UNVIM, which monitors ships entering Yemeni ports. The inspection of vessels is fundamental to interrupting illicit arms entering Houthi-controlled areas while preserving the flow of goods into Yemen. Nearly 90% of all food in Yemen comes through commercial imports. So maintaining the integrity of these ports is vital. Reports of Iranian ships circumventing these inspections are therefore extremely concerning. The UK calls on Iran to cease its unlawful support for the Houthis. All ships entering Hodeida must comply and report to UNVIM for inspection. We recommit our support to UNVIM so it has the necessary capacity and funding to ensure Yemenis have access to essential goods while abating the smuggling of illicit arms. Finally, President, the peace process in Yemen remains critical, as Special Envoy Grunberg has set out. We urge all stakeholders and parties to the conflict to prioritise the peace process and build on the progress made by the Special Envoy. This is perhaps the best opportunity for sustainable peace in Yemen in nine years. We must take it. Thank you.